You hit him everywhere about the head. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under the door. Girl, I thought you'd know better. Something you need? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop. Tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, He's you want to get this dead. battery or not, time's wasting. What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. Yes. So why did you decide to help us? I told you. I agree. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me, or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? I'm going to have a look around. You do that. <sighs> Maybe there's a car battery in there we can use for the boat. Can you use a car battery for a boat? Looks like Crawford had their own semi-trucks. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Shush now. There, there's another vehicle to look at. Okay. Everything is fine. That blinking must be an anti-theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. And not set off the alarm. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. It's the panel that controls the hydraulic lift over there. <laughs> What's this? More of Crawford's rules. Oh. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. No power. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Do you have anything to cut it with? Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? <laughs> Hilda. That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow <laughs> Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. And then, like, she gets caught in the hydraulic system somehow and gets snapped in two. I did it. Oh, it's gonna smash. Whoa, whoa! whoa. That's probably not good. No shit! Crap. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Get the fucking... It's still attached to the terminal. Oh, of course. Of course it is. It's still attached to the terminal. What do you mean? I can't just pull it off? It's still attached to the terminals. I just pulled it! Got that one off! It's off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. She's gonna leave with us. Okay, follow me. Move your ass. Blah, 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 blah. Climb. Oh, <laughs> shit. Great. Now what? Skylight. 
it shut. Shoot it out. Oh, come on. Well, I guess the alarm already went off. We got this. It's cool. It's cool, man. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Holy crap. Jump. I'm not a free runner, girl. What did you call me? <laughs> well, now that you mention it. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I didn't know I'd have to click something. <laughs> I would have totally missed that. Easily. What the hell? Oh, okay. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. You're Wait, taking my you battery. Still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly. God damn it! What the hell is she doing? Molly. <sighs> Let's go check on the others. Oh, you're not in there yet. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Wow. You have any idea what I was just through? And you're still out there? <laughs> uh, Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some we kind of leader. We already said this. Why did I click that? Let's go check on Clem, I guess. Clem and Ben. Little help! Little help here! What the hell? What's going on? E e e e e what did that work? The doors won't close all the way! Clem, do something! We got it! Brace the door with something! Brace the door with this! Oh, what the hell? No! No, 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 no! This is like the drugstore all over again. Damn well better. There's so many of them. Oh, we got it's... the fuel. Let's not start high-fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. How do you even get them all here? Wow. Oh, my heart. <laughs> You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She would better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. Except for when people get left behind. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope. All this happened. Lost my whole family. Oh. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? That's really depressing. Like she was finally better and things were cool and then crap. How long have you known Vernon? Couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. He seems like a nice guy. He is a nice guy. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? 
I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old, even children, those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cool. It's how I feel. Yeah, man. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. It makes sense. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. I'm busy looking at the sign. Yeah, it's pretty screwed up what Crawford did. I gotta agree with her and Molly. You okay, Clem? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go Excuse take care me. of a few things. All right. Sorry. It's very late, okay? But I have to play this now. No time for sleep. What do we still need? We already got sleep the fuel and the, the battery. Week. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. Look, she gave she you a choice. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? <laughs> she saved me. Didn't I already? How are you guys doing with that uh, door? No! Slower than I'd like. Don't worry, we'll get it open. I think. I guess I'll go help with the medicine. Off we go! Out into the abyss once more. Yeah, that's scary. Look at all the blood hands. Ew. There's a shit ton of walkers out there. Yep. Let's not be long. Oh! Shit. Oh no! Kristen Vernon must That's not what I wanted to see. Do I shoot them? I'm dead. Like a pro. You see that shit? Fucking pro. <laughs> uh, then again, shooting in this game isn't that hard. What? What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Oh, code. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Of course. Can we just guess the combination? It's a four-digit code. You do the math. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Let's get started with the search. Why they have Go a deep inside? Why they have a camera in here? There were no perverted videos, were there? What if that guy made? Videos with Molly that would on dried blood on this printout and on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera. Because that there. would make a lot of sense. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? And it'd be really, really, really not okay. Uh, already cleaned out. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Uh, party pooper. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. 
There's a fetus on it. There's a fetus on that sonogram. Looks like some kind of medical file. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. <sighs> yeah. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. It's not like Silent Hill Shattered Memories where <laughs> the answer to every solution is like right there. Not working. Oh, you need a key to the store. Oh, it's in this cupboard right next to it. <laughs> I did enjoy Shattered Memories. It's just the puzzles were like child level. Hey, Krista. Yeah. Are you making any progress with the safe? No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're gonna get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon... It's okay. We'll figure it out. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Why are you asking me that? It's just that you've been looking a little pale the past couple of days. You've been throwing up... Oh, you're... come on! You just dug up a rotting dog carcass! I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omi. What if she was going to get him these meds? I hope I did the right thing bringing Clementine with us. This place isn't exactly safe. Then why did you? Because leaving her alone with Omi didn't seem any safer. What's that supposed to mean? No offense, Krista, but Omi's pretty sick. If he dies with Clementine alone in the house with That her, is not going to happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. We're going to get these meds to Omid, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine! Okay! You're right? I'm sorry? Look, Lee, I just want to get back to Omid. Let me do my thing, alright? Okay. I want Omid to survive, too. I like him, man. He's awesome. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Oh, God. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Elsewhere. My nose is so itchy, I can't stop scratching it. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. <sighs> Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl itchy. doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. You're I awesome. heard that. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. I can't look in that file. Can I shoot the safe open? I mean, we already shot the gun like a million times. Do you think shooting it open would work? Only thing that would accomplish is getting us all killed. So, no, I don't. Be nice. I'm doing the best that I can. Did I look at the bed yet? I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. Huh. Looks like some kind of medical file. Open it. Don't tell me the answer was here the whole time. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Oh, what did they do? What did they do to her? I wonder if they watched her get sick and turn into a walker? Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Hmm. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. That is the zombie. You brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, 
oh god, oh god. Crap. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I could see old evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. That's scary. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. That's a scary civilization. Damn it! We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe yep. there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search him. See what he's got on him. All right, let's go. To the alley! Alone. Great. This game is giving me acid reflux. <laughs> this is a problem. <laughs> Eerie silence. Except for the moans and the crickets, I guess. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god, why? Why, 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 why? Why? Oh, oh, god. Well, that's lucky. Maybe I should have looked around a little bit first. She dragged it away. Oh, it's dragging itself away. Alright, bro, come on. You got something I need. This might be just what we need. We got What's it. this? Looks like some kind of code. Ooh. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit. Time to go. How are you gonna get back over the fence? Oh yeah, conveniently load screen. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that combination is for that bloody locker. This must have been his locker. Open it. Oh, it's unlocked now! Another tape. Safe combination has got to be on one of these. Wait. So, uh, did you put in the combination, or was that just magically unlocked? I, I swear I checked that before and it was... Whatever. Let's go. Whatever. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Oh no. We're gonna see what happened to that poor girl. I don't know if I wanna. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Can't get a good look above with the cover on. Yes, you can. God. We're fucked. We're fucked. We're dead. 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 
Guys, we're dead. 